These scenes haven't been seen in the Turkish capital city of Ankara for over a decade and represent a severe setback to Turkey's powerful president, Tayyip Erdogan. Tayyip Erdogan. His ruling AK party has lost control of the country's capital for the first time in a local election to the country's main opposition party. But perhaps more significant is a loss here in Istanbul, Turkey's largest city, where Erdogan launched his political career. A defeat here is a broader sign of dwindling support as Turkey's economic downturn weighs heavily on voters. The results in Istanbul are so close to call that both sides are claiming the narrowest of victories. And despite the winner being disputed, signs like these have popped up all over the city. They say thank you Istanbul and feature Erdogan and his party's candidate, the former Prime Minister, Ben Ali Yildirim. Speaking to his supporters, Erdogan appeared to concede defeat in Istanbul, but added his party would appeal results wherever needed. I believe the only reason we couldn't get the results we wanted in some cities is that we couldn't express ourselves enough to our nation and we failed to win their hearts. The loss came despite the president's daily rallies and overwhelmingly supportive media coverage. Erdogan has now promised to focus on Turkey's troubled economy in the run-up to national elections in 2023. A currency crisis after last year's election dragged the lira down by 30 percent and tipped the economy towards recession. With unemployment rising, some voters appeared ready to punish the president. Last week, he called himself the boss of the economy. With so many concerned with where it's going, it shows despite Erdogan's 16-year grip on power here, he's not immune to a shift in public opinion.